Ladies and gentlemen, tonight I'll be your humble host, the Pascon, and I'm back with another tutorial showing you guys the basics of string editing so you can change names of in-game superstars in 2K15. Now the very first thing you're going to need before you can change the names of any superstars is an uncompressed string file. I recommend downloading Cave Wave Riders Ultimate Attire Unlock and using that as your base for this. That way you've killed two birds with one stone, you've unlocked ten attires for all the guys, and you have an uncompressed string file. Now here you see me installing it. It's very easy install. You just copy the contents of DLC 60 pack into the DLC 60 pack, and then you go back and you copy the contents of the regular pack folder. right here miscellaneous star and string and you just copy those and paste them into your main pack folder and you overwrite when prompted on all of these on all of these and once that's done you are ready to begin string editing so fire up hxd and open up your string file which is located inside of your pack folder Once you have that open, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change your view because you see all these numbers, all this hex code. That's just gibberish to you right now. At the level you're at, you have no idea what any of that means and you shouldn't be messing with any of it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to view and you're going to want to change that to text only. Now you've reduced it to that column and all you're going to see is names. I suggest scrolling down to begin with until you run into superstar names, at least for the first couple of times that you attempt string editing. After that, you can do more complex searches looking for specific superstars, so on and so forth via the search tool. Right now, I'm just showing you this because it's the most basic way and you should always start out doing things the most basic way. Now before I start editing any superstar names, I'm going to break down the particulars of hex editing for you. When you change a character's name, the name always has to be the same length or shorter. What that means is when you're changing Batista to Goldberg, if you've replaced Batista with Goldberg, in certain sections you do not have enough letters to spell out Goldberg. In those sections, you're going to have to shorten Goldberg's name. Because if you go over an additional letter, you're going to be going over too far, and that's going to mess up your game. Everything has to retain the same amount of spaces. You see I've replaced... See that You see what the names I'm replacing currently. If I replace the name and the name is shorter, I fill in the rest with spaces. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to go... But, 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 but I've been seeing a bunch of topics on the internet and they say use periods or zeros. That's correct for those hex editing programs. For HXD, for HXD you're going to want to use spaces in these sections. And I cannot stress this enough. Never, ever, ever under any circumstance hit backspace. If you do, you will be prompted with this message. Promptly hit cancel because if you backspace anything... You will mess everything up. Alright? And also, I want to tell you guys, do not one-to-one -one follow what I'm doing. I'm making mistakes on purpose to illustrate how easy it is to go back and change things you've messed up. I think one of the most scary things about hex editing is you've been told so many horror stories about how you're going to break your game, how you're going to mess everything up. Well, I'm here to show you that it's really, really easy. It's just tedious and time consuming you're gonna have to set aside probably a solid hour block if you want to knock this out and get everything changed go back test everything make sure it works and re-edit things that you messed up because you see there's about four columns of names that you have to change for each superstar you have their screen select name you have their loading screen name which has two varieties and you also have their in ring name you have to change all of these for every character that you edit. But it really is as simple as clicking before the name, typing out the new name, 
and making sure you don't go past where the period is and any characters between the end of your new name and that period we can replace by hitting the space bar and that zeroes out those columns. Now let's take a look at how they look in my game. Neville worked as renamed. El Patron worked. I forgot to rename Jeff Jarrett. I'm Jeff Hardy. Wade Barrett worked. Goldberg worked. Finn Balor worked. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I messed up CM Punk badly. Alright. Now that's something that I need to go back and change. Go back and correct. Is there anything else I messed up here? PJ Black worked. And you see all 10 attires available. Oh, there's an issue there. I did. I put Samoa Joe in the wrong place as well. So I got to go back and fix those. But you notice, the things I messed up didn't break the game any. Didn't hurt the game any. It's a very easy fix. You just exit back out of the game and go back into your string file and just make the fixes. I'll change this back to CM Punk. Space out and erase the dates because who needs 12 and 13 afterwards? Now let's go down and find some of the other ones that I messed up. And that's, guys, that's really all it is. Is hunting through this column, finding the names you want to change, and changing them. That's all it is. Put your cursor in front and type. It's as simple as that. It's nothing too complex. It's nothing you should be intimidated by. If you were able to figure out how to hex edit in Superstars from my last video, you can figure out how to hex edit their names. It's just as easy. It's just really tedious and really time consuming. You just go through that whole table and rename, rename, rename. If you have any more questions or you need a more in-depth guide, feel free to ask, feel free to comment, feel free to tell me whatever you want. I've tried to boil this down as simplistically as possible, and I think showing you guys the basics here was enough for you guys to get in there and start messing around with it yourself, and that's the only way you're going to learn. My name is Apostcon. I hope this helped.